Has MSNBC gone too far? Senator Hillary Clinton thinks so and is attacking the cable news network, which is fighting claims that it is sexist. Last week, MSNBC correspondent David Schuster referred to Chelsea Clinton as being, quote, pimped out, end quote, by the Clinton campaign. Schuster, who was referring to Chelsea contacting superdelegates, has been suspended and did apologize on air. But Senator Clinton isn't buying it. She sent a letter to the head of NBC saying she has grown accustomed to criticism but will always be a mom first and a public official second. Clinton went on to say no half-hearted apology is sufficient and has even threatened to boycott scheduled debates on the network. MSNBC's Chris Matthews apologized on air last month for saying Senator Clinton wasn't elected on her own merit, but due to women's sympathy for her. And last year, shock jock Don Imus was suspended and later fired from the network for racist and sexist comments he made about the Rutgers women's basketball team. Meanwhile, new data out this week shows Senator Clinton's support from her core constituencies, older white women and blue-collar workers, may be dwindling. Megan Byer, so uh, let's start first with the MSNBC, then go to the w white women looking like, at least in the, this past Tuesday's, Tuesday's Potomac primaries, deserting Senator Clinton. MSNBC, sexist, gone too far? Well, I think it's a part of a coarsening of the political coverage. And Tom Brokaw has spoken out about this. And I think, you know, I would like to see some of the fire taken out of the day-to-day -day coverage of these campaigns because I think we all saw it after Iowa. I think it actually impacted the race in a way that, you know, made things change. And, you know, it's taking a, a very coarse approach to, to use the word pimp uh, when, when talking about somebody's child, and I know she's 27 or 28 years old, I would have responded just the way Hillary Clinton did. And I, I just think that it's a coarsening of our discourse, and I think it's uh, something we've got to address. Quickly, uh, everybody, on uh, this uh, aspect, and then Very let's quickly, switch. I think, uh, I can agree in, in her frustration in that comment, and it was inappropriate, but I do believe the Clinton campaign overreacted. I think they did so shrewdly because they're trying to change the dialogue in the mm -hmm. press. She's losing all these elections. This is the only way she can continue to maintain some sort, maintain some sort of strength in a presidential campaign. Yeah, she perhaps overreacted, but that's what mothers are for. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And and if they hadn't had this pattern of sexism, not to mention racism, uh, it like might not. She, so she has a point. <laughs> but, uh, but. Yeah, it, it, about MSNBC. They clearly overreacted. I mean, this is a way to humanize her also, to remind people that she actually is a mother and that um, you know she defended her child. That's great. There, but and NBC has a consistent slanted viewpoint on things and now the Clintons are on the receiving end of that and they don't like it but you know uh, uh, Keith Oberman said the same thing about the Bush administration pimping General Petraeus to justify this war in Iraq where was the fervor over that where there was wasn't. his mother well <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But the, the point is, though, that it, it depends on the, t the tone and context of what you're saying. I think it was inappropriate for David Schuster to say it, but Keith Olbermann was very, very vitriolic in the way that he used it, but no one said anything about it then. There's clearly a double standard. All right, now, why is she losing white women? In the Potomac well, primaries, you know, uh, before then, she was getting older white women, she was getting blue collar voters, lo lower income voters, and they both started to leave as of uh, this no, past you know, week. I think what we're seeing is momentum and, and it's sort of like Giuliani saying well you know I've got a great demographic down in Florida and I'm just gonna wait till Florida comes and then I'm gonna ride it well it has changed by the time he gets to Florida because campaigns are dynamic and that is what is happening what we saw in Virginia was Hispanic vote women's vote white male vote all went for Hillary Clinton or I mean for Barack Obama not Hillary Clinton and um, you know, I just think it's part of the dynamic of a campaign with momentum. Uh, Hillary had women, and lower, lower income people, because they are more inclined uh, to, to recognize uh, the name. Uh, what you're seeing is quite remarkable. Uh, even with all that name recognition, the more they see Barack, see how he fits these times, see, see how he raises the spirits, sees how he breaks from the past, uh, he overcomes that. That's what's remarkable about his candidacy because it's overcoming the powerful Clinton name recognition. What you're seeing here is something that I find to be very fascinating. It's almost like teenage fawning over the Beatles 
people are just they almost don't know why and they're what, just but, well why aren't they screaming at the rallies then yeah they are <laughs> they're screaming they're crying it's like the Beatles when they when they see Barack Obama and and but when it comes to Hillary Clinton she's not exciting them the same way her her message is not resonating and it and they have a dip they're having difficulties with this if you saw the footage of the b-roll of, of, of Senator Clinton during the Potomac primaries and where she was she's walking through a, a machine factory and a Barack Obama is filling stadiums of people it's like it, it, it's a certain phenomenon it's, and it's like the warm he makes people feel warm and fuzzy and it's the instant gratification culture we have he makes them feel great so that's where they're gravitating Hillary Clinton is cold and frosty and she's not making people feel very inspired and she's losing the votes it's very true it's funny one of her senior pollsters called her in Spanish La Fria that was their big problem she was the iceberg she was the you know she's not one you wanted to get warm you know and, and listen to and it's funny when you listen to Barack Obama about to begin his speech it sounded like a Hannah Montana concert I mean it, that high-pitched scream that was coming from the crowd was was very intense but there's no doubt he's charismatic great orator and that's almost what her argument is now I could give a great speech if I wanted to but I'm more on substance you know I've got the solution well, she you know start, she's, she's trying something lose. her message is not working clearly that's probably <laughs> but the I think biggest what, point of this and, and and in addition to that the, I wouldn't read too much into the exit polls that he he won Latinos because it was such a small sample in Virginia and Maryland but there is momentum um, uh, socioeconomically he, he is winning all the different income groups and that's important